Sometimes you just want to configure a GitHub workflow to be able to be run manually, such as maybe a Terraform apply to require some human intervention, or especially a Terraform destroy, since you probably don't want to automate that and only have it around for emergencies. So let's take a look at the workflow dispatch event trigger here. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is just specify on workflow dispatch. So if I wanted to apply and destroy with a manual button or the ability to call from the API, all I need to do is just create that new file. We'll just say this is apply.yml. Now this was with the code provided. I'm just going to copy all of this. We're not going to worry about duplication right now. I'll just paste that in and I'll rename this to apply. And then all we've got to do is just change this to on workflow dispatch. So on workflow dispatch. All right, so in this boilerplate code here, I'm taking care of all the credentials using OIDC. I'm init, format, and plan here. Those aren't totally necessary if you've already done that in your workflow, but we'll just leave that for right now. And then we're just going to apply. So I'll just copy this to reduce the typos that I always seem to have and apply the configuration. There's a typo right there. Name Terraform apply, run Terraform apply. We'll keep that input false, that's fine. And auto approve as well. All right, so that is great. Now what I can do is just copy this and we're going to make a destroy action here. Destroy.yml. Paste that in and Terraform destroy here. Terraform destroy. Head up to the top and we'll just call this destroy. All right, perfect. So I think that's everything. I may have missed something. Let's go ahead and commit this and take a look. So now I'll just git add, git commit dash M, add it, apply and destroy. So now I'll just git push origin main. There we are, let's go see if this works. I'll head into my actions here and we can see that my current plan is running. This is tflint. tflint had a problem. That's something I need to fix. But the Terraform plan is looking good. All right. So since the plan is looking good, waiting on that to clean up here. Oops. I left the apply step right here within terraform.yml. That was silly on my part. So obviously the apply worked, but that came from terraform.yml. Now, if I look at the apply, that's still right. So I'm just going to head back. And even though I just applied, we're going to go back to actions here. And you can still see that we have an apply right here. So if I run, I can run the workflow. I can choose the branch if I need to, but in this case, I'm going to choose main. So let's just make sure this works. It doesn't really matter that it's already applied. All right, that apply is running. All right, apply complete. Obviously nothing was added because of that little oopsie earlier, but that is totally fine. So now let's go and check out our destroy action. Let's head back to my actions and destroy. Run workflow, run workflow here. And destroying is happening. Let's take a look at that. All right, the destruction is happening well. Now, a couple things you may not need to run this plan in the destroy step, or you may actually want to run a destroy plan just like so, but otherwise everything else looks good. And now you have a great manual way to clean up your resources and apply your resources with some human interaction. All right. So that's all for this. Thanks for watching.